if you just follow instructions, if you don't throw in the towel, if you don't take a crooked turn, if you don't try and fix this yourself, because what you should be feeling right in through here is that you really don't know what to do. You, that's what you should, you should be feeling in right in through here that I really, I've done everything, I believe the word, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, I, I, I don't want to give up, I feel like giving up, but I'm not going to give up, but, but I, I, I think I'm going in the right direction and I'm uncomfortable, but I'm going to keep on moving. I, I just found out that the acronym for my name, K K-I-M, is keep it moving, and I come to let you know that Miss Keep It Moving is in the house. And so if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're going in a little hard place, if you feel like you might not make it, I need you to just hunch someone next to you with your elbow and say, you are going to make it. And you are going to make it. 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 Amen. Consecration means set aside. You might not shout tonight. Consecration means set aside for a special purpose. Consecration, as my preacher used to tell us, uh, is, uh, he gave us the illustration of the special dishes that are in the china closet. Y'all don't know nothing about a china closet. Amen. That if I go to mama's house right now, there's this big old china closet. And in that closet were dishes that were only used for a special, special occasion. They probably collected a lot of dust. They were worth more than the dishes that were used every day. But they were set aside for a special purpose. And I believe that the women of God, as we have set ourselves aside, we've been set aside for a special purpose. I believe that while we were locked in the china closet, while everybody else was getting used, and you were wondering why isn't God using me? While you were shut up, no that you could be used knowing that because of God's anointing on your life you could be used but you were locked up I'm trying to stand out here so you can make sure you understand what I'm saying and so tonight I come to let you know that it's time for you to hook up with the right folk so that the china closet can get opened up because your day has arrived. Your season is here. It's time to bring out the dishes. Look at somebody and say, it's time for you to come out. I'm telling you, those dishes are older than I am in my mama's china closet. They've been in there a long time. But in order for you to take advantage of this season, you are going to have to take inventory of those people who are around you because everybody don't get to eat off of the consecrated... Everybody didn't eat off those dishes. When, when they set them out, if, if you had a big family, everybody didn't even get to eat out of them. We set the table, the head table, you call it, which was usually the dining room table, and the rest of the children ate from the kitchen table out of the Malamac plates that was burned around the edges or some paper plates. And I'm coming to let you know that you can't let everybody eat off of the consecrated vessel that God has set up in this hour. Is there anybody that say you're talking about me? If you're in here today, say you're talking about me. I'm serious. Hold it. When you understand that and remain with people who don't understand it. 
you cause yourself more trouble that could be avoided. When, 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 when you continue to surround yourself with people who don't respect the assignment that is on your life, consider to continue to surround yourself with people who don't feed into what God is doing in your life then you jeopardize the assignment that is on your life. You're still trying to get me to do stuff that I shouldn't be doing, and I'm anointed. That's the people that I'm talking about. You're still trying to get me to go places that I don't need to go, and I'm blessed and highly favored. You're still trying to talk about stuff that I don't need to be talking about, and I'm blessed, and highly favored. You still trying to get me to go to bed with you and I'm black. And then you want me to counsel you about whether he's the right one. Is he trying to get you in the bed and he knows that there's an assignment on your life and you're not married to him. Save yourself the session. He is not the right one. That was if in this season you are more focused on satisfying your flesh, you are going to miss this season. There's another shift that's going on in the spirit right now. And that stuff we should have been over with five years ago, worried about whether our flesh is going to get satisfied. Well, I come to let you know, consecrated women, your flesh might not get satisfied in this season. So you got to decide whether you're going to live highly favored. You're going to have to decide whether you're going to live high above all this stuff. You're going to have to decide whether you're going to live anointed and appointed or whether you're going to satisfy your flesh. Look at somebody and say, what you going to do? Thank <laughs> you.